Hello and welcome to church this morning. Hello, welcome. It's so good. So glad you're here. We're, we are glad you're here. <laughs> we are in our sermon series called Major Impact by Minor Prophets. And of course, they are not just unimportant prophets. They're insignificant? No. 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 Never. No. They're concise. Concise, straight to the point. Usually meant for one specific time or one specific person or one specific nation, like today's. Mm -hmm. This we could consider this a sequel. A sequel. A sequel to Jonah. Jonah. Jonah week one. We did Jonah. Yeah. Right? In the big fish going where? Nineveh. Nineveh. This is the sequel. But we didn't talk about Jonah last week. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's like Jumanji. Yes, it's just like Jumanji. You know, the the first movie came out back long in the nineties. Yep, long, long time ago. And you fast forward years, years, and years and years, years, and they came out with another one. All new characters. All new characters. Um slightly different setting because yeah. instead of taking place in our world and the the creatures come to our world it was taking place in the land of jumanji and they found alan per parish's yeah home while he was hiding in the hot jungle yeah yeah so it was it was really really neat but you know and and not only is it um you know a, a sequel to jonah but it's almost an oxymoron, I guess, because I Nahum, mm -hmm. it means comforter, okay. right? And the book starts with anything but comfort. Really? Really. I it's, love those juxtaposition things, you know? <laughs> it's like it's like comfort, but it's not. It, it's filled with divine wrath and doom and gloom and judgment and, and all of these things that we don't think about and as a first time reader in the in the view of the new testament where love yeah. oh, god is love and jesus is love and jesus loves me this and i know mercy yes forgiveness. like no god's jealous and vengeful vengeful <laughs> <laughs> starts off like that then this yeah. is a book of comfort right it's like hmm? you know and to, to some of us it could be very kind of unsettling yes unsettling. yes doom and gloom well you you, you kind of have to also think about you know there's there's this a long time frame right there is you know you had jonah where where jonah went and he preached and the people of nineveh listened heeded the message the six word message yeah, yeah. <laughs> and repented and god forgave he had mercy yep and you think oh it's a wonderful happily ever after yeah. oh, Mark. <laughs> and then time goes by and we're not talking just a little time here it was at least minimum minimum 125 years at least could have been 200 could have been 200 yeah. yeah and if we think about our past what was going on 125 years ago well it was 1898 um yeah electricity was, electricity was just just starting. starting most people heated or lit their houses with candles and gas lamps yeah yeah um Indoor plumbing was, you know, just the 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 fancy of the fanciest. Fancy of the fancy. houses had that. Telephones. We must have telephones. We all have telephones. Everybody has a telephone now. I have a telephone. And I have another telephone. telephone. <laughs> I have a telephone. No. Um, no. No. In, uh, what was it? In the 20s? 20s. 35% of the households had a telephone. No. So 125 years ago, before the turn of the century, 
it would be significantly less. <laughs> The world wars haven't been fought. Right. First and second world war. Yeah. Hadn't been fought yet. Um, silent movies were were just starting, like in the in the 1890s. And I remember reading one time that the first movie was shot in Hollywood in 1905. I can't remember where I read that, so please don't call me. Get this. 125 years ago. The Eiffel Tower was the tallest building, tallest structure on earth. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, it's and now, yeah. Football. Monday night football. Uh, what's that? <laughs> the, the, it, it, it wasn't until the 1920s there, there was actually a league. Wow. So 125 years ago, I don't even know if it was invented. And and here's something we don't have in our notes, but it was just over 125 years ago when they started the modern Olympics. It was 1896. Wow. Yeah. I mean, a lot has changed. Can you that. imagine going back to someone 125 years ago with like a cell phone or something like that? Get in St. Arthur's Court. Yeah. Or King Arthur's <laughs> Court. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. We've we've advanced technologically, but we've also changed as a culture mindset. I mean, how many people actually went to church 125 years ago? And probably 90 to 95 percent. Yeah, would be a low number. Mm -hmm. And now it's not quite that. No, 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 no. <laughs> so. Who were the Assyrians? And and it's Nineveh was their capital city, yeah. right? So Nineveh is the Assyrian capital city. But who were the Assyrians and what happened? <laughs> what happened? Well, the Assyrians, um, they were the the world dominating power at the yeah. time. Superpower. Superpower, yeah. <laughs> they um they took over countries. They come in and attack and destroy the countries and take them over. And they were brutal. They were really, really brutal. And <laughs> it was actually the Assyrians that came in and destroyed Samaria and the Northern Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was in 722 BC. So 80, 75, 80, 100 years after the time of Jonah. Yeah. And they're the world power taking over. And they they took over not only um the northern kingdom, but lots of other places too. Mm -hmm. And they made vassal states where where they came in and they they attacked and plundered and they may not have actually destroyed completely but the places would have to pay tribute and who likes paying taxes i mean tribute <laughs> which is basically what it would have been anyway and they ran those places they ran those places so imagine some other country just coming in and taking over here and yep. just saying you've got to pay us now yeah right? and, and and they took over so many places yeah that they were wearing themselves thin, and they they had made some some uh, treaties with mm -hmm. Egypt, whose capital city was Thebes. But Nahum talks about Thebes. Actually, talks about the destruction and the downfall of Thebes. So we know that that event that happened in um, six sixty three was after was before the time of Nahum. Yep. But we also know from history that Assyria <laughs> finally fell because God said it was going to happen, and it did. Yeah. Um, and that was in 612. <clears throat> 612. So somewhere in that 50-year span, we have mm -hmm. the book of Nahum. And some commentaries that I read said that basically the Assyrians were like a thorn in the side of Israel. Like they were 
They were, Israel was God's chosen people, but God allowed for Jonah to be able to bring a message of repentance to them, which they accepted, but then they rose back up and they were just brutal. Well, you know, they're, they're about to lose power. They yep. see the writing on the wall, as it were, that they're going to go down. And, you know, when, when you're hanging on by your fingernails, you get ugly. Mm -hmm. And they did. And, and I love the, the last verse of Nahum. I got to share this because um, th this is God talking to King of Assyria. And he goes on and on and on. And, and, and then he says, nothing can heal you. Your wound is fatal. All who hear the news about you clap their hands at your fall. For who has not felt your endless cruelty? Mm -hmm. Assyria was extremely cruel. And when, when that city and that country and that world dominating power fell, there was a big party. There was a big party. Oh, it, it, I'm sure it would probably rival the end of World War II. Absolutely. Yeah. People pouring out into the streets. <laughs> and the kiss. <laughs> That's the most famous one I, I know of. Uh, the picture was in my head, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, the very first point, even though this book starts out with like jealousy and, 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 and vengefulness and everything like this, we can understand from the book of Nahum that God is an avenging God. God is an avenging God. Um, you know, it's it the, the book starts out, like I said, with a punch in the gut. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Sorry. is jealous and avenging God. The Lord takes vengeance and is filled with wrath. The Lord takes vengeance on his foe and vents his wrath against his enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that's very negative sounding. Yeah. And I mean, no wonder that people think the God of the Old Testament is a mean old man mm -hmm. who's sitting up in heaven and judging because. They read things like this, and this is the only picture they might have. They may not read on or read deep enough. Yeah. But as, as we were reading this and saying that, that God is an avenging God, it, it came to me. I, I love the Marvel movies. Yeah. I really do. Can't wait for uh, the new Black Panther to come out on the Disney+. Plus. They're the Avengers. They're the good guys. They are standing up for what is right. Exactly. God is an avenging God. God. And even though it sounds negative, he's jealous. He takes vengeance. He's filled with wrath. He is justified in this. <laughs> and, and it's not about jealous of us. It's jealous for us because we are his creation and we are being hurt by, you know, well, I don't say we, but they, uh -huh. the, the Israelites are being, and other people too, it wasn't yeah. just them, other people as well are being hurt by the, 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 the cruelty. Assyri, the cruelty. And, and he's like, no, I cannot let this go on forever. Just like the Avengers hear about a foe and they're like, you know, the foe comes in and does some really bad stuff, but eventually they get up and they start and they like, oh, I gotta get, gotta, we gotta protect. Yeah. Protect. Yeah. Because you know what? And it's about protecting. You know what? The, the Avengers are on the good side. They are. God's on the good side. And that brings us to our second point. Yes, it does. <laughs> See, my... Not only is God an avenging God, but God is a good God. God. He, I, I love how verse uh, one and three starts. It says, God is slow to anger. God kind of like the stock that we're anger. making today. Yeah. The chicken stock, you know, we're going to get it on the slow temperature and it's, it's coming to a boil. It takes lots of time. 24 hours. 24 hours to make a good bone broth. Yeah. Slow to anger, but great in power. Mm -hmm. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. Oh, can you take it? <laughs> like, I mean, that just speaks to me that God loves 
us that much that he will not leave in the fullness of time. He will not leave those people that need to be th those, those, huh, I just, yeah. Well, <laughs> It's 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 kind of like last week we were talking about um how the the rulers in Israel were thieves. Mm -hmm. They they stole from the people. They took their lands when they shouldn't have. And we we both shared a story yeah. of when somebody stole from us. And you know when somebody wrongs us and and breaks the law we want them to be held accountable. We want them to be punished for what they did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when, when you read this, this verse, um, what is it? Verse three, um, slow to anger. He will not leave the guilty unpunished. When we're guilty, we need to be punished. Yeah. Now, sometimes God in his mercy allows punishment, such as eternal punishment, to be taken care of through another means. Yeah. But doesn't mean necessarily in this lifetime. Right. Right. And, but one seven really spoke to me. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. And mm. when we are, when we are hurt, when somebody or some people are hurting us god and i and i've often used this in in talking like i've tr tried to create a safe spot or a soft spot for my family to come where they can be open honest they can feel they can be angry they can be sad they can be happy they can be anything and there's still unconditional love yeah there for them with God, we can go to him with our hurts, with our angers, with our fears, with our happiness and our gratitude. We can go there with anything and we will still be comforted and accepted. And, and it is our soft place to be. Mm -hmm. And that is just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, chapter two, verse two says, the Lord will restore the splendor of Jacob like the splendor of Israel, though destroyers have laid them waste and have ruined their vines. God is good because God is just. And God is an avenging God. It's a good thing. Yep. God is a good God. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he is a powerful and still active God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. yeah. We we see this. Um, and I, I don't know if we mentioned this before, but um, these first few verses of chapter one is a psalm mm -hmm. talking about God. And this is where our, most of our scripture is from. Yeah. And as we as we think about God being powerful and active, listen to some of these words. Um Chapter one, verses three. <laughs> um, we, we talked about God being slow, but as we continue on in that verse, his way is in the whirlwind and the storm and clouds are the dust of his feet. Mm. He rebukes the sea and dries it up. He makes all the rivers run dry. That is pretty powerful, wouldn't you think? Just a little, just a little, just a little. Yeah, yeah. That he's put the universe in creation, and because of the laws of nature that he has put in place, um, he has control of all of that. Yes, and it's just yeah, it's it's a beautiful thought. It is. And then as we continue on in verse five, the mountains quake before him and the hills melt away. The earth trembles at his presence, the world and all who live in it. As I read that, I thought, you know, in our heads, we know scientifically that that earthquakes are the, the plates of the earth moving and, and bouncing up against each other and whatnot. But you know what? God is powerful. And in his presence, the mountains quake. Mm -hmm. 
the hills melt away. What is more timeless than mountains? I mean, on, on <laughs> earth, on earth, <laughs> on earth, we think of the mountains. We think of the Rockies, and oh, they've always been there, beautiful. But <laughs> the mountains quake, and the, the hills melt away before him. That yeah. is how powerful he is. So we have an avenging God. Yes. Good thing. We have a good God. We do. We have a powerful and active God. But Jonah doesn't stop there. Or Jonah. <laughs> Nahum. A sequel, right? <laughs> I just got to give a shout out to Jonah because, you know, hey. Jonah. Yeah. Uh, Once you got past your problems. But anyway. <laughs> Nah Nahum. Uh, doesn't finish it there. He leaves us a hint. Leaves, us a leaves, hint. leaves of a hint that God is a God of good news. He will always, we will always, we will always have injustice in our world. Mm -hmm. There will always be people who will try, like in Micah last week, who will always try to cheat or to scam or to do bad. There will always be poor among us. Mm -hmm. But God is a good God. And Christ's defeat, because of the cross, Christ defeated the most tyrannical oppressor of all, death, death. And, and sin. And we see that, we see that point in um, Nahum, pointing to Romans, which Paul wrote. Yeah. So Romans 8, uh, 1 to 2. You know that? Old? I do. There Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit, who gives life, has set you free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wonderful words. And then Romans 10, uh, 14 to 15. You got that open? I do. Okay. <laughs> how then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Hmm. Doesn't that sound a little you know, familiar to you? When we preach on a book, especially a, a smaller book like um, like Nahum, we generally read the whole thing. And as I was reading this week, I thought, wow, that sounds familiar. Chapter 1, verse 15. Look, look, there on the mountains. Look, see the, the feet. feet. They just had a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> well they may have they may have probably not look there on the mountains the feet of one who brings good news good news who proclaims peace and who is that, that who is, is he pointing towards jesus he's pointing towards christ in the old testament always i love how how these last three prophets have all pointed their direction to Christ. As Christians, it's our duty to stand up for biblical principles and to proclaim Christ um, and to represent him in a way that people see who he is. Yeah. But also that it's only through repent repentance and the life sa saving oh goodness gracious i'm tongue tied the life changing message of the gospel will people and nations be saved and that's amazing it's where our hope lies that is where our hope lies yeah why don't you pray for us and we'll close her up sure thing well gracious and loving Almighty God, we thank you 
We thank you for, for Jonah going to Nineveh and preaching eventually <laughs> and seeing repentance. But as society in that town turned around and the words needed to be said again, we thank you for Nahum mm -hmm. and his, his song about you, about how wonderful you are, how avenging and good and powerful and active. We thank you for that message, that reminder of how you are a good God and a just God and a merciful God and a protecting God and a comforting God. Thank you for that. And as, as we look at the good news and as we share the good news, may you just give us the right words to share with people who don't know about you, to share with people what a loving God you are, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Help us to see that, help us to share that, help us to live that. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye everyone. Go with Go God. God.